Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Host Client Hardware Config, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So in this video, we're logging in directly through the host client, so directly to the ESXi server itself, not through vCenter server as you would normally do. And this takes us to the main interface. And on the left hand side, we're on host, and it gives us some brief information about the host. So the host name, the version, the state. Uh, this one is saying that it's connected to a vCenter server, even though we're managing it directly. Um, and the uptime. So you can tell that we're managing it directly because of the IP address at the top and the uh, logo in the top left hand corner. Uh, uptime 6.64 days and then we have in the top right statistics for CPU memory and storage so you can see the the capacity the amount free and the amount used on CPU same again on memory so there's capacity free and used And then same again for storage, capacity free and used, and a percentage on the right hand side. We've also got some other messages here, it's telling me or warning me that this um, host is actually managed directly by vCenter server. I know that, so I'll get rid of that one. Um, it's telling me that the ESXi shell is installed and SSH is enabled, which could be a security risk. I've deliberately enabled those just to transfer some software to the box, and it's telling me I'm using it in evaluation mode and the license will expire in 40 days. That's where you'll see generic messages. If we scroll down a little bit, it tells me a little bit more about the server itself. It's a Dell Precision T3610, six CPUs, and if we expand that out, it tells us we've got 12 logical processors. So what we mean by that is execution threads. So um, we, we can create 12 vCPUs out of this. It's one socket with six cores, but because we've got hyperthreading enabled, that's where we get the 12 from. So one socket, six cores, hyperthreading gives us 12. We've got 128 gig of RAM in the server. We're not using SGS or Secure Enclave, which is a, a security feature on more modern servers. Um, the installer has used some of my uh, flash drive that I installed it on to create some virtual flash. It's used the remaining 119 gig of flash on that device. Um, there's the host name. And then you can see the different IP addresses. And for each VM kernel adapter, you'll see two. One is an IP version 4 and one is an IP version 6. We'll talk about those a little bit later in a subsequent video. And then you can see the two DNS servers that are being used. They are the DNS. Um, it's actually using DNS on a Synology NAS. So two different NASIs running that DNS package. And then it tells me about the number of um, host adapters and networks. Um, ignore the switch at the top. That is a... Um, NSX virtual switch I was playing with from a beta version of NSX3 which I uh, forgot to remove properly. I've got two actual real standard switches on this at the minute, the um, uh, VLAN 00 and vCenter HA network. And underneath here are all my storage devices. So the top few are um, local storage devices, locally attached SSDs, or running VMFS6. I've got a couple of NFA, uh, there's some more local storage devices down at the bottom, so five in total. And then three NFS mounts, again, coming from various different Synology NAS devices I have in the house. We now move on to the right hand side. It'll tell us a little bit about the version of vSphere running and the image profile. It tells me that high availability is not configured right now and that vMotion is supported and which nick it's on even though I'm not using it at present. You'll see that VM kernel address corresponds to the one used down at the bottom. Um, it tells me things like date and time on the host, uh, the install date, asset tag, serial number, BIOS version and the BIOS release date. And then some statistics down here. You'll see the CPU is running almost at 100% 100 there. That's because I've got a folding at home virtual machine running on this box at present. That's why the CPU is so high. So that was a, a quick walk around the um, hardware config. 
um, for the host client. Hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for your time.